Okay, last uh, video. Uh, we had, we were in um, Connecticut with Timothy, who had moved there with his um, six brothers, and um, then had uh, ten sons of his own. Joseph, one of them, was a revolutionary soldier, and uh, I'm sorry, Timothy was the revolutionary soldier. Joseph, his brother, was the father of uh, Enoch, who lived to 93. Actually, not quite so exceptional. Joseph himself lived to 90, and there was a longevity in the earlier, earlier families as well. Enoch, Enoch is bring him in on this top of this other chart, married to Mary, and then his uh, son William is the main focus. So, Isham, Delavan, Wisconsin connections, and um, <clears throat> the main focus uh, of this video is, uh, is William. So, we were living in Chicago, and we decided at that point to return to Australia, and it seemed to follow up my family history interests, that an afternoon in Delavan, Wisconsin would we be worthwhile. Even if we didn't find out much, um, it would be a nice drive and we could get the vibe of the uh, city. So we piled into our little red car, um, Luke less than two strapped in the back, and um, off we went to Delavan. And I think after one inquiry, uh, I was directed to a Mr. Charles Spooner in a hardware shop. And uh, he was the owner of the business and um, went in and introduced myself. And he seemed uh, friendly and congenial enough, although a little bit laconic and dour at the same time. But he invited us to his house almost straight away. Uh, we were over there. And uh, he had us upstairs in the attic going through an old trunk of photographs, of family photographs. And lo and behold, Mr. Spooner was, the, um, was sort of a relative. And he uh, pointed out, uh, gave, in fact, he gave me this picture out of the, out of the trunk. You can see there, let's put it over on this side, maybe with less glare. The man standing up is his uncle with the same name, Charles Spooner. And it turns out that he was married. The, the uh, generations were a bit spaced a bit differently. But he was married to Lena, the sister of Frank. So here we are back at the chart, and there's Lena, married to Charles Spooner, and there's Frank, my uh, great-grandfather, her brother. So, it turns out that the marriage was not a particularly happy one. Uh, Charles said it was his uncle's fault, very gracious. Um, but they divorced. And I have an idea that divorce was pretty uncommon in those days, um, early in the uh, 1800s. And it turns out that um, Frank um, was um, also divorced from Florence. So whether it was something in the temperament, I'm not so sure. Um, but uh, it would happen twice in, in that generation of the family. Anyway, Mr. Spooner uh, put me in touch by mail, or actually he um, alerted a friend, woman who visited, uh, I gather she visited um, the town from uh, time to time, and she was the descendant of the other sibling of Charles. It seems like Charles was the 
going name is another Charles. So Charles, the brother of Lena and Frank, was her grandfather or great grandfather. So um, as a descendant, she had some resources and gave me some things, a little bit of information about Frank that allowed me to follow up on Frank's um, military civil war uh, connections where he was stationed, but I want to say more about Frank and especially about Florence, his wife, um, in another video. But just to show you uh, the picture she sent me of her um, grandfather, so it was her grandfather, um, the picture she sent me of her grandfather is a young man on the over here, and then later in life, in the larger picture, Charles Turnbull Isham. So, I don't have a picture of Frank, but if family resemblance is worth much, he may have looked Frank, my grandfather, my great-grandfather may have looked a little bit like this man. So uh, there we are. That's about that's about uh, it. Um, William Willard, the um, father of Frank, Charles, and Lena, was the person of the public figure, you could say, and he he was. Um, a trustee of the Institute for the Deaf, which was quite a was an institution that drew uh, people from a wide um, a wide area, and he had an ongoing concern in that. He served in the Wisconsin State Legislature for legis legislature for um, a short term. He ran businesses in. Um, Delavan, particularly, um, particularly famous and having a high reputation for his carriages, which were sold um, widely across the Midwest. And he had um, also a hardware business. Uh, at one time, he picked up a business, I think, that made plows. He had a license to run a ferry on uh, the river nearby. So there were there were all kinds of, of business interests. He was a, an enterprising um, uh, William was an enterprising man, married to Eleanor. Um, I was taken to his house, and also the site of his business. Nothing there now. The old family residence, though, is still there. And I'll put the address in the notes to this video in, in case you would like to street view to look it up. I think that's all there is to say about William. There's um, obituaries and various other material along with all the, all the uh, ancestry mem memorabilia in the box. So there we are. William uh, Isham and his three children, Frank, my great-grandfather, Charles, and Lena.